Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle with Writing Style Crafts. I apologize for being gone so long, but I'm sure not a lot of you are aware that I actually just took a brand new job. So that's been taking up most of my time on top of beating for the lovely woman who plays um, the queen at the Ohio Renaissance Festival. So that's been taking up most of my time, but I've got a few things here in front of me, as you can see. I've been doing some shopping, um, and my Hobby Lobby is getting rid of these tiny spools of ribbon. So as you can see, I've bought quite a bit. Um, these were priced at 24 cents, and I couldn't pass them up. So I have um, some wide blue organza. I have some, this is um, like a tassel trim, some black and gold some music notes i'm actually doing a collab with jen of um uh, posh scrap or yeah i and she and i are doing a fan of the opera so you'll notice like this is black um shiny velvet i picked up quite a bit for it um red lace some pretty gray lace i like the i like the laces <laughs> if you can't tell some cream lace more cream lace um, pink tassels. Let's see. Is there anything else different? There's more red lace. That's black. Oh, and some music notes because you never can have enough music notes. So I got all of these for about $6, <laughs> which is quite a bit of ribbon if you think about it. But my Hobby Lobby is doing a big clearance out. So I've been buying things as I see them. Um, I bought this Brad setter originally $6.99. I paid $1.74 for it. I thought it was a good tool to have. I picked up some star-shaped brads. I thought these would be good in the Harry Potter book I've been working on for years. So I bought some of those. Let's see if I can pick this up. Over here are some door lock, like the keyholes. I liked those. I have a pack, so I bought the last one they had. I also purchased these Jolie's Boutique stickers that are crowns. These are for my Renaissance journal. I purchased two of these crocheted flowers. I like them. Um, and these you can ink up, so that's why I bought those. Um, my husband and I are planning a trip to the UK in the near future, so I picked up um, these stickers for that purpose. Um, and when I bought these, all of Hobby Lobby stickers were 50% off. I bought these for the fam of the opera book because I liked the corner pieces. And then these, this is obviously for the Phantom of the Opera. And then I picked up these two at 49 cents, but I like them. So I think I'm going to put those aside and put those in my Renaissance journal. And I'm going to keep moving stuff out of the way as I can. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm running out of room. But I couldn't pass up the sales. When they when Hobby Lobby has stuff on sale, I try to get it. Um, this was not on sale. This is something I need for my giveaway, which I'm still working on. I haven't had any time. I have a custom journal right now that needs to go out very soon. So that has been taking all of my time. And I will be doing a flip through of that very soon. Um, but I needed a one-inch hole punch, something I didn't have. I used a 40% off coupon. It, it ended up like six something. Not horribly bad. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And then we'll talk about my um, massive Tim Holtz that I've been kind of hoarding. Um, I'm a Tim Holtz fan, if you couldn't tell by some of the videos I put on my channel. And recently, um, I've had some good fortune to get some things on sale. So I got two packs of the washi tape on sale. Pretty nice sales. Um... I got Remnants and Merchant. I like his washi tape, so I wanted to um, obtain those. And I am now in the process of collecting Distress Oxides. As you can see, my poor black sponge is filthy, but I use my black. I've been using my black a lot. Um, I picked up Mermaid Lagoon and Fry uh, Fired Brick. Um, this is for the Phantom of the Opera book, really. That's why I purchased it. So um, I finally purchased some of the quote chips i'm hoping this week to order tim holtz halloween when i get paid so we'll see um i bought 
the uh, found collection again. And the reason I purchased it is I have a friend who looks just like this <laughs> that I work with at the Ohio Renaissance Festival. So I'm going to make him a piece of art out of this. And it goes right back there, how I had it, so I can find it. I love the found relatives. It's been one of my favorite things Tim Holtz does. These cabinet cards you can make look so interesting and neat. Um, I really enjoy them. And then... Uh, my Hobby Lobby will no longer carry these. I'm not sure if they are just completely being discontinued, but I purchased two packs of the frames on clearance for $12.99. Um, that's actually the price I found them on eBay at, not eBay, um, Amazon at, so I can't obtain these, but I made, um, on my channel, I made, um, I, I took a set of these frames and made some art with them, and I wanted to do that for my friend Aiden, who, um, who looks like the picture I just showed you. So I wanted to do all that for him. Then we will set all of that aside. And we will bring in, look at this, look at this. Um, this is the, I believe it's Miss Sparkle and Company. Um, this is the, this is the Joann's brand. And they put out their Halloween and autumn stuff. And I'm a Halloween fanatic. So when I saw it was out, I, Picked up a few pieces. Um, I, I'm eventually going to make myself a Halloween junk journal. Um, I'm hoping maybe next year I can do it. I've been saving things up. And I also want to make a, um, a um, ha Haunted Mansion, which is my favorite uh, Disney ride um, junk journal. But I thought this was super cute. And as you can see, it's not their real heavy card stock. But it's really nice if you're matting photos on it. Um, or putting it in a junk journal. Look, look, there's the headless horseman. Oh my God, that's so cute. And then there's a hearst. I think that's supposed to be a hearst. That's what I think it is. Um, I hadn't really flipped through this. There's, oh, mummy kitties. Oh, oh, that's so cute. I mean, I just thought it was really cute. And then candy, because you can't have Halloween. And then they have some cut aparts. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Oh, I love that. I love that. That's so cute. So there is um, the trick-or-treat pad. I haven't opened these. Like I said, I just, I literally bought them and I haven't had a chance to even look at them. So I think I'll open this side because this is the foil ones. And usually I can just pop. No, you're not going to pop. The good thing about the Miss Spark One Company is everything's, I think, $1.99. Even the clear stamps. So it's more affordable than what you think there we go we pop that this is thicker because it's foiled but i have not even looked. <gasps> oh my gosh yes see it's all pretty oh my gosh how look at that i love that i love the little witch i love this paper oh my goodness there's the bats oh those are cute too and that says Boo and Happy Halloween and Trick or Treat. And those are the four styles that are in this one. Again, 12 sheets, three of each, six by six. And then I bought some autumnal colors because you never know what you're going to need when you're paper crafting. And I thought, you know, if I want to make a Thanksgiving card, um, my, my one aunt loves cards. It doesn't matter what season it is. She just wants cards. <laughs> So, um, I will make her just random cards and, um, this is, these are really nice for card making because if you make a four by six card, um, you have two, a two inch piece left over on one side and I cut the front, which isn't a huge deal because it's just the front, but these are just really nice glitter card stocks. Um, there's 10, there's two of each and I thought they were really kind of pretty. So that's why I picked them up. One is a dollar gray silver, the other one's brighter. Um, but that's I picked those up the other day. And then I picked these things up, and I thought I had another... I have another set of washi somewhere. I'll have to locate it, but it has potion bottles on it. Um, I picked up another roll of their bat washi because it's super cute. I found these glitter stickers. There's three sheets in here, and they're little bats. Again, Haunted Mansion themed. Um, these say things like autumn and thankful and Halloween and they're wood pieces. They're um, wood veneers. There's two of each style. I thought they were super cute because you can paint them. 
And then again, I found these really cute little stamps. There's the little kitty and the 31st and the skeleton. It's time. Let's get spooky. I thought these were adorable. So all of that belongs there. And that's kind of what I've been up to. I've been working pretty hard. Like I said, I started this new job and it's been taking a lot of my time but I wanted to come in and say, hey, I haven't forgotten about everyone. It's just been a lot of time spent doing a lot of things that I wouldn't have normally done. So uh, I know some of you are curious what's in the pipeline. As you can see, this large journal over here in the corner. This I need to finish before September 15th. Um, it's for a friend. She would like it for her wedding anniversary, which is September 15th. Um, I'm also working on my collab for, um, with Jen of Posh, uh, Scrap and Posh, um, and this is a, um, an altered file folder that we decided to swap, so this will be, um, Phantom of the Opera themed, and I need to draw for the Alice in Wonderland playing cards. They are wrapped and ready to go. I just haven't had a chance to draw for them. So I'm hoping that will be my next video where I actually sit down and I, I show you um, drawing for them. Like I said, they're packaged, they're ready to go. Um, but I need to get other things finished first. So um, I'm hoping to do that today. I'm also hoping to um, work on the journal that I've been working on. And I will have another video very shortly. I ordered something and it came and I'm very excited and it's in this big old box and I'm going to cover that up because I don't want you to see my address. Um, it's in this big box. So that will be the next video on my channel. I hope you guys come back again. Thank all of you for coming and joining my writing style crafts page. It's um, I woke up one day, I went to bed one day, and I had 12 likes, and the next day I had 250, and I cried. You guys have no idea how much you subscribing and doing things uh, makes my life special. So thank you for coming back and watching, and I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your crafty day, and as always, happy crafting.